Hey everybody, hope your day's going well. We are back with Asaf Avedon Anagnorisis from his inner box series. I hope I said it somewhat correctly. Let's hope he pronounces it in the song and then we will know. Uh, but basically, that's a literary term coined by Aristotle. Hey, look, and there's a writer right there. Hey. Basically, that is a sudden realization when a character, you know, when a plot element that was previously hidden uh, is unveiled to the character and then it's like, <gasps> basically that moment. Uh, so let's uh, see how he uses man. The man knows his Greek terms, yo. Dang. It's clear It's always been you Rain starts to fall Follow it up To where it begins Deep in the ocean <laughs> Wow Love is away. Love is away. Around our body. And I know wow, basically, he split the word up. So I'm still not sure of the correct pronunciation. <laughs> now, anagnorisis is at least anglified. Um, but man, uh, he uses, you know, now he's on the piano. It sets a certain tone and mood of the song. And right at the, off the bat, uh, he's saying, finally, it's clear. And, what, and I just, you know, explained that term a little bit, you know, briefly what it means. Like... The sudden realization, finally it's clear. He started off like that. <sighs> also, the two vocal effects on, on the two mics, you know, one is more heavy, the other one not. And uh, always for an engaging dynamic experience when the man is singing. And just the stanza, it's always been you. Rain starts to fall, follow it up. Like almost, he sat in a scene like uh, for a movie scene, right? Uh, very vivid imagery and then to where it begins deep in the ocean love is a wave and he repeated that line like waves are repetitive and love uh, is likened to a wave here you know it's uh yeah it's rhythmic love is a uh, wave or is a rhythmic and the song is rhythmic and then around our bodies and then he says the word anagnoris is basically the realization when the bodies collide i realize that I'm in love with you. It's been clear. It's always been you. He said, it's always been you. Like that scene in a movie. It's always been you. <laughs> and everybody on the TV. Oh, finally. <laughs> okay. No, no more playing around. Let's go, man. Hey, this man, he really inspires me and conjures up so much imagery in my mind, you know, that it's like, damn, I need to be, I need to be writing. <laughs> Beautiful. This time it won't. Oh, I don't know. That's very interesting. Once again, great storytelling and such short words. Like the sentences are three to four words long in this stanza, you know, and one, like he's using that, um, 
that structure is incredible to tell a story with that. That's the economy of words right there. Wow. Impressive. That's impressive. And he's, he's coming back with the Greek tragedy terms. <laughs> Peripeteia. That's basically like a sudden reversal of fortune. So he's switching it up. It's changing up. It always ends bad. And then he said, this time it won't end. We're really like, we know, we always go into uh, these things and like expecting it to be different in the same things, but usually it ends up with the same results. Um, you know, in psychology, you have that too. Like when we revisit uh, toxic relationships and we keep coming back to them, addiction and we, all these type of things, because we expect things to be different. But it rarely is. It can happen. It can happen. Wow. Damn, man. How does he do it? How does he do it? Man, that was a beautiful song. And Anagnore Shiz, like it's almost like a sh sound there at the end that he's using. Uh, wow. I, uh, drowning my body. So I assume you're like almost drown. You, your body's drowned in all these emotions and this, <clears throat> and this feeling. And I'm swimming to you. How long has it been dormant inside me, sleeping away? But the way he broke that sentence up, you know, he broke that down. In, in a real interesting melodic and melodic way. He did that throughout the whole song. These longer sentences, and then he tagged words on later with a pause or broken up sentences. Uh, really interesting. Like I said, and in, in, I think it was the last video, one of the recent videos, like he always keeps it engaging. We see the piano now. He's using different vocal effects. He, he uses different types of uh, structures in his songs really to deliver him uh, the emotion in his voice the poetic lyrics it's just incredible and then some of these terms i get it it might not be uh just for the casual listener uh, at first glance what I love about this, it has so much replay value so you can grow on you and catch new things over and over. And I have a few artists that I react to on his channel that have that and I've been listening to my entire life. That That's the stuff that I love. Like, 
listen to a song, live a year, listen to it again. It might hit different five years, 10 years, or just listen to it over and over. And suddenly you catch something new, uh, like a puzzle, almost that f a puzzle piece that falls into place. Anag nourishes like a sudden realization, like, Oh, that's what he meant. But maybe that's just what it meant to you and not to somebody else, which is beautiful. Love it, man. Poetic stuff, man. Poetic stuff. Once again, he, uh, he, uh, He's nailing this music game. Beautiful. Thank you so much for being here. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.